Hey guys, welcome. My name is Roxana. I am the person behind Soil and Margaritas. And I know some of you are always asking, where are the margaritas? Well, normally, like today, I shoot my videos really early in the morning because the light is better. Normally by the evening is when I am busy doing mom stuff and photography stuff so i don't have the time to shoot a lot during the evening and i am not the type of person that drinks in the morning so uh, for those of you that ask here's a picture of margarita you're welcome so let's get to it so today i am going to be working on the bed that i have behind me the no dig flower bed that uh, i started this year as many of you know i started this bed early this year there was grass here i decided to make a flower bed just for my annual flowers and i think that it's coming along well well right now it's uh, time for some of the things to to leave this space this gorgeous hyacinth bean vine, I love it. It is finally, finally giving me some blooms at the very, very top. Um, I am going to leave this one over here where the obelisk is, but everything else, all of my annuals just need to go because I am going to be also planting some tulip bulbs. And I am going to clean this bed. I am going to make the holes for the uh, tulips. And then I'm going to show you at the end how all of that looks like. I do have a hedge of boxwoods here that you can hardly see now because all of the annuals are just pushing through. It's that time of the year where everything is just, uh, is just dying. We are getting into the really lows during the morning, even though we still have some decent weather during the day. Uh, but I think the next week we have our first frost, so it is time because I do not want to be here during um really really cold days planting both so so let me show you the process and i'll see you towards the end i wonder if you hear me because i've been calling out i want to have you near me again i want to have you close So I have a total of 250 bulbs that I am going to be planting over this bed. No, I am not going to be making 250 holes today. Basically what I'm going to be doing is I have them in groups, so I am going to be putting groups together. Instead of making a bunch of holes, I'm just going to make a few to make everything look kind of together. Uh, I am going to be keeping the colors together. I only have about three or four colors going on here. I found these two, and if you can see them here. So these two colors, uh, pink and purple, I bought these two at Menards. 
um, I think that I posted on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should check it out uh, under Soil and Margaritas. I post things as I, um, as I do them here in the garden. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead. But these two colors I found them they were on sale. They were a great sale. I think that I paid uh, for these 15 uh, bowls, I think that I pay about four or five dollars. I can't quite remember. Um, very, very good deal. So I got these two colors and I have a bunch of this. And then also I order a few of these from Holland Bowls. These are Peptac Double Latte Tulip that I think is just going to look gorgeous together with these three colors i'm going to put all the um i'm going to show you how these look like because they don't come with a picture but i have a bunch of these together and um but i want to put all of these together and hopefully they work out well like i said i think these two colors are going to go just great like look at that if you know me you know that i love pink i love pink tulips and also uh, I got some bone meal as well. These were on sale. Uh, a lot of places about a month ago decided to go uh, and have a huge sale for fertilizer. So I got a few and I got bone meal. And normally I, it doesn't matter which company. Bone meal is bone meal. Uh, if you have a preferred company that you shop your fertilizers from, go ahead and got, uh, get them from them. But these were on sale. I think that I paid $2 for this bag. I mean, this is probably going to be enough for this whole place. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that and if I still have good lighting uh, I'll show you the end how everything looks like and also just a quick note on cleaning this bed what I did here I didn't actually dug up anything any of the plants that were here already I just went and I cut um, at ground level I read a little bit about the subject about at the end of the season not disturbing the roots not disturbing anything that has been there for the season so i just uh, it makes sense to me go ahead and do your own research but i just basically instead of digging everything up i just went and cut everything to ground level so i hope that makes sense for some of you do you like i said do your own research and see how you like it i do have to be careful because i know that i have i know that i have that hose buried there uh, and i know that's the one feeding my hose link which I'll probably have to um, take inside here soon the next couple of days. But um, before it gets really, really sunny on this side of the house, uh, I got to get these guys in the ground. So it should be easy because I don't have to, you know, make 250 holes. So let's get.
lot of you ask me if my tulips come back every year and the answer is it just depends on the tulips varieties. I have areas in my garden where I have tulips coming back a second, maybe a third year and they're still doing well. However, even those tulips that do come back every year, they don't come back as strong as the first year. They start declining year after year and what I have been doing is that I divide my garden in certain areas where uh, I have areas where I have tulips coming a second, maybe a third year. And there are new areas like right this one over here where I am just where I use plant fresh bulbs. And hopefully next year I will let these tulips stay here for a second. And depending how they how well they do the second year, I may let them a third year. That way I have other areas where I maybe try new varieties or new combinations. I tend to stick with pink tulips because I really just enjoy that color. Um, and that's basically just what I do. Uh, I don't just plant new tulips for my whole garden. I have areas where I do some new ones in containers as well. If I put them in containers, more than likely those, those are just going to be annuals. Uh, I get rid of those every year and then I just try new ones every year in containers. So I think that that's it for this video. I am getting ready to do everything tulips, uh, containers in another area. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you for being here.